and welcome to FIO 2017 uh, in Washington, D.C. I'm with Dr. Jung Sang Kim from Duke University and also Chief Strategy Officer at IonQ. Dr. Kim, your visionary presentation today talked about trapped ions. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you spoke? Yes, uh, this, we're approaching a very exciting time in development of quantum computers. This has mostly been in academic research for the last 20 years or so, but I think people are starting to build up enough confidence that maybe a commercially usable system uh, can actually be constructed. So there are many, many active uh, activities, uh, both in big companies and small companies like, like INQ, where people are trying to create the first quantum computer that could be useful and be used by people that are not physicists, but maybe a computer scientist. So what, what do you think the five, ten years down the road, what will the quantum computer look like? In it's very difficult to say just because uh, we don't have a good foresight of seeing what the future brings. But one thing to note is people tend to under, overestimate what can be done in one year and underestimate what can be done in ten years. You think about ten years of how iPhone have changed our lives. Um, so um, it probably over the next four or five years we'll be improving the baseline technologies and make sure that we have uh, usable computers and maybe reach out to some early adopters who might be thinking about how to use this for useful uh, applications. Um, but if we actually start catching some, some real market opportunities, I think the technology will move a lot faster than we can think about. So maybe um, it will certainly have a potential impact in um, materials and, and chemical research, biological research, maybe some optimization problems, um, and hopefully uh, more applications that we don't think about today will come about. Fascinating. Um, we have a lot of students here at FIO 2017. Yes. Can you give some uh, advice for those just starting out in the field? Yes. Um, one of my mentors told me that uh, if you don't take risks, you're not going to make a difference. So um, it is okay. And, and the advice to me was until you're about 40 years old, it's okay to try something totally new as long as they're willing to um, reward you for it and you get to learn something new. So I want all of you to take some risk, jump into new fields, try to see if you can make a difference rather than being sitting back and being comfortable with what you already know. Fantastic advice. Yeah. Thank you and signing off from FIO 2017.